Okay, so today I am doing a loaf of multi-grain bread. So this recipe, which I'll post the link to, is extraordinarily easy, apparently. And I, I trust it, I think it will be. I made a loaf a couple of weeks ago and my friends who ate it said it was really good. So apparently it does work. I did have to make some adaptations to his recipe, which you'll see if you watch the recipe. I had to add more water and I had to do something different with the yeast, but we'll get there. So the first thing is a 16 ounce glass of cool tap water. I'm not sure what that is in, in ounces, in milliliters, but this is the size glass he used. However, for our climate, it wasn't quite enough. Got olive oil. Then he also had a tablespoon of olive oil. Getting everything set up and of course you're going to miss something, aren't you? So there's a tablespoon of olive oil. And then he tells you to put the yeast in. Our yeast does not go in the water. It goes in the dry ingredients. But he does put a pinch of salt in the water, but I'm just going to do all of the dry ingredients together. So I now have here three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So I'm going to mix those in another big bowl because I'm going to mix all of the dry ingredients together so that the yeast, quarter teaspoon yeast, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon sesame seeds, one teaspoon mixed seeds, or one tablespoon, I mean, sesame seeds and one tablespoon mixed seeds. And half a cup of oats. And then I'm going to mix all of that together really well. Now, as I said, this is not how he does it, but for the yeast to be mixed in according to the way our yeast gets mixed in, because because this is actually an American man who's doing these recipes, but they are genuinely no need. So they are the recipes I need. Now that that's all incorporated, then I can mix them into the water. He just puts it all right in there. takes the handle of the spoon because if you mix the dough with this part you get a clump there and it's difficult so he just takes the handle and mixes everything together gives it a good stir now this is why I have a second glass because we seem to need a little bit more water here his when he is doing it is much, much stickier than mine is. And you need it to be wet. You need it to be a little bit wet. So I kind of gauge just how much more water I need to put in as I'm stirring it because it's not this crumbly when he does it. And I think that's the important thing, is to watch 
what he does before you make it because then you'll see what you're aiming for and you'll be able to adapt the water to that. You don't want too much water because it will, the dough will absorb more water as it's proofing and it will get quite tacky. So you don't want too much water, just right. Then I scrape that off. And then you take a spatula and scrape all the flour off the sides. Just kind of get it all together. Like that. And then you cover it tightly with, he uses cling film, but I use something else. I'd forgotten to grab my silicone reusable lid top. It's a good tight seal. And you don't send of plastic into the sea. And then you just leave it in a warm room. He, he leaves his in the kitchen, but my kitchen is a bit too small, a bit too cold, I mean. So I put it in the snug, which is a little bit warmer. You proof it overnight and I'll show you what to do with the rest tomorrow. <laughs>